What's up everyone, I'm here today to show you some new updates in the 1.1 control panel. There's been a lot of stuff added, but I'm going to try to be really quick about it today to just give you a quick overview of all the new things. So right from the top, these things right here are notifications. We now have a notification system, so we can either send notifications to all servers or to a specific server. So make sure you always look here when you load up your control panel to see if there's something new. Um, these expire after a certain time. so. Uh, yeah, that's new. Another new thing, current track display shows the current track the server is on and also how many laps it's on for. Um, as you can see here, these buttons have completely been changed and redesigned. Uh, this was because this format makes them easier to handle and they also look way nicer on smaller screens like phones or iPads or whatever. So uh, there were also some more commands added with those such as all of these right here. I think every single thing after the 4-spec all is new. So just a uh, new design there and uh, just visually looks better and is easier to use. Um, as you can see here, this option did not used to be here for the server broadcasts. It used to just be this text box and you could broadcast whatever text to the whole server. You now have an option. So if I go connect to this server, which I was in but I timed out of, I guess, um, it's going to change the track probably because I was dumb and did not make the interval big, but it's alright. It'll give you an option to see another new thing we have, which is uh, automatic player stat refreshing and also server stat refreshing, which you probably saw it do on my screen while I was rambling. Uh, you see players in active mode changed to 1 by itself, and total players also changed to 1, and the track changed, which as you can see we are on Anaheim 2 in fact. And, um, and now if you look here, I now have an option to broadcast just to me. Um, it'll have every writer that's in the server obviously listed here and it'll update with everything else. Um, and you can select the writer and broadcast them something and only they will see it as you can see in my screen up here. We can't really show you that no one else can see it but just take my word for it, no one else can see it if you select a certain writer. Um, so now if we go look over here we can see that the player list also refreshed with me in it. Uh, there's nothing new with the player list besides that refreshing feature, but there is a refresh button so you can automatically refresh it. Um, I'll show you the setting really quickly. Uh, the panel refresh rate is how you can tell the panel to refresh at a certain interval. So in seconds, right now mine is set to 10. If you set this to 0, it will disable the refreshing. So none of that will refresh automatically anymore if that's at 0. And you can see it tells me my interval down here nicely. Um, so if it's at zero, nothing will update. Uh, I guess you would ever use that if you had a problem with the updating and just didn't want it to update. So on that topic of refreshing, we have live timing now. Um, there, there is the first thing, which is a status flag. Uh, as you can see right now, it's green, which shows that I'm in the server currently, and I'm currently active. If I was out of the race, meaning I was far enough behind the leader and hadn't moved in long enough that the server determined I was no longer an active rider, this would turn to red, which would obviously designate that the rider is out. And there is also a third status flag, which is a checkered flag, which I'm sure you know means that the rider has finished the race. So this will always display in the correct order. Obviously, we're not going to really see an order change here because I'm the only one in there. But uh, as you can see here, there's gap, which again, we can't really demonstrate being that I'm the only one in there right now. But it will show the current gap between the two positions so like it'll show the gap between first and second it'll show the gap between second and third it isn't it isn't the gap behind the leader like uh, you might think so that's a little bit better because it's a little more information than just how far they are behind the leader um, best as you can see right here is the best lap that that in which the rider ran their best time um, which is all zero for me since I haven't ran any laps, which you can see right here. I've ran zero laps. This is the total amount of laps that have been completed by that rider. Um, and it also shows the last lap time that that rider ran. And then this information, UID, bike number, everything that you might need. You can also get a link here to live share your server info. So you can share the um, the connect button and the connect IP. You can share what current track it's on obviously the live timing and the player list and then the track list. You can give the link out publicly that it generates. You can either like control copy or, or go to the link and copy it from your URL bar. But that's what that does and this page is safe. Nobody can edit your server info from this page. It's just a display 
Um, so it's just something you can send to people, maybe if you're hosting a race or something, so they can see the race info. And this track list you can see will only show tracks that are listed in your current track preset, which is another new feature. If we go to the tracks page, as you can see that track display is there now, um, we now have a track preset section. And as you can see, my current preset loaded is Tutorial, which is just this track. As you can see, the current track that loaded now is the Arena Cross. Um, there is a small bug whenever you update the track list in which an extra track will be added at the very beginning of your loop. That's something that is a bug in the actual like MX server process, which is obviously made by JLV. He said that he has fixed it, but he has not yet released the new server version that has that fix. So obviously as soon as that's out, I'll update it and that bug will no longer be an issue. But for now, just keep in mind that if you update the track list at any time, there's most likely an extra version of a, 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 any given track at the very beginning. You can easily fix that by stopping and starting your server and that will refresh the track list and there won't be an extra track anymore. So now I've set it back to the track that we are trying to demonstrate. And if you go look here that I am actually currently connected on the correct track. Um, so presets, like I was saying, uh, you can load them here and uh, you can easily add tracks to them now. Uh, it, this will always default to whatever preset you currently have loaded. So it's easier to add tracks than having to select your current preset every time. You can obviously change that whenever you want, but obviously it's going to be defaulted to the one you have loaded every time. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really easy. You can just create a new one by typing in the, the random name and then cre creating a new preset. Um, you can delete them here. You can't delete the default one, obviously, but you can delete any of the other ones here. The last pretty big feature we added was the ability for your friends to use your control panel. So anybody that you have set in this admin list here will be able to access the control panel with their MXS Lobby account, obviously with the corresponding UID. Um, and the only thing that they can't do with your control panel, as it says up here, is edit your admin list. So they can't remove other admins and they can't add themselves or remove themselves, whatever. They can do everything except edit this. Uh, that's as simple as I can put it. When you remove them from this list, they'll be forced out of your control panel, so you don't have to worry about them doing anything crazy with it. So yeah, that's going to go ahead and conclude it for the major features. There's a lot of minor things that were changed and uh, some minor bug fixes, which we are not going to get into at all. You can just kind of see those around when you're using the control panel. You'll notice some things are different. Um, that's That's all I wanted to say to you guys today. We're really thankful for all the support we get on these control panels. It really helps us to run these websites with uh, less and less cost for us as each, as each new person signs up for a server. And uh, we, we really appreciate that. It's really awesome for you guys to do that. And we thank you. And uh, we've been getting a lot of cool comments from people saying that this is they really like this new control panel and what it can do. And uh, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy for that. So remember, if you have a control panel, you can always request a new feature for me to add, either in any video comment that has to do with the control panel or any topic that has to do with the control panel, or you can email me. Any way you can contact me, you can ask me to uh, add a new feature. I'm always open to new ideas. I will, I will be totally upfront with you and tell you whether or not I think it's possible or whether or not I think it is worth the amount of time I would have to put into it. I believe I've addressed all the feature requests that I've gotten over the past month with all of these new things that I just added in this update. Um, like I said, I, if there's anything else uh, that you have to request, go ahead and request it. But like I said, I'm pretty proud that I was able to uh, complete all the feature requests and uh, I am working hard for it to be completed. And I, I take this thing seriously. It's taken a lot of my time, and I'm I'm really happy of what I've come up with. And I even like using it, which is always a good sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Thanks guys for watching. I will see you next time.